Yo, welcome back to my world, Dario Richie here, and we are in part two, information, came out a couple of days ago, part two of the Halloween spookiness of Pokemon Go goodness, alright, so let's, oh my gosh, and of course, as soon as I open up, woke up this morning, I even saw, I saw this on my emails, so I was like, what's going on? Of course we got this coming up after Halloween, the ghost still lurking around. We won't be talking about that in this video, but I just opened up my game, yeah, oh today obviously as you can see, and we have a Haunter, let me just catch this dude for my first catch of the day, we're gonna make it nice, actually no, we'll use a silver pineapple. We'll use a silver pineapple, and we'll use an ultra ball so we can actually get him. First catch of the day, excellent, first of all, come on. Yeah. Alright, now I don't know when the Lavender Town music is meant to be starting because I've been placing it on. <clears throat> and uh, a bit of morning breath, a bit of morning throat. Um, I've been placing it on the music and it hasn't really been playing, so I don't know what's going on. But before we get into this video, before we start talking about. We won't do anything else in this game, we're just going to be talking straight about. We got, I mean, there's a lot of things happening, like holy fudge, but part two, this is it, we're going to be talking about this. Before we get into it, today's Pokemon, I, I realized that last uh, video, I did not do the Pokemon of the day, and it is the weekend. Oh yeah, look at that orange. October 21st and 22nd is oh, Amaudo, Amaudo, which I got a perfect one of. But yes, alright. Let's get straight into the vlog, and here we go. Are you excited? Now, we've seen this occurring every Halloween for the you know past few Halloweens, where they give us the costumes in part two. I'm like, why can't we have the costumes throughout the whole event? <laughs> because, you know, the costumes, they're the, they're, the main, they're the piece of resistance. The ones you want to get the shinies of. So here we go. It's a party play pa pa parade. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. In Pokemon Go, this Halloween, with Pokemon wearing costumes and a brand new way to play with your friends. Oh yeah! Trainers, Pokemon Go is throwing a huge Halloween party this year, and it's wherever you, w you and your friends want it to be. What better way to celebrate than with your cl closest buddies? Get ready for even more spooky shenanigans where familiar Pokemon will be appearing wearing costumes and Zora, uh, the ever elusive tricky fox Pokemon will return with a surprise if you're lucky. Are you ready for a new way to play Pokemon Go with your friends? With party play, trainers are now able to adventure together in a shared in-game experience, completing changes along completing challenges along the way. Alright, I won't go on with the party play stuff, let's just get straight into the new shinies. Oh yeah, they're new shinies, alright. Pokemon debuts. Alright, so part two, it starts on Thursday, October 26th at 10am to Tuesday, October 31st at 8pm local time. Honestly, I wish it can just go all the way to midnight, or you know, 11.59. Alright, so... Pikachu wearing a tricks and treats costume. Gengar wearing a tricks and treats costume. Like, have you seen this Gengar costume? Like, what the flip? It looks like, uh, oh my gosh, I don't even know what it looks like. Like, it's so... It, to me, I get the um, uh, impression of like ramen. Like a ramen dish on the set or something. You'll be able to encounter other costume Pokemon from previous years during this event as well. Which I read that, I was like, oh yes. Wild Encounters, speaking of. Alright, so we've got the Pikachu wearing the Tricks and Treats costume. We've got the Vulpix wearing a spooky festive festival costume. We've got Murkrow, we've got Mistrevious, we've got Sableye, and we've got Piplup wearing a Halloween Mischief costume. We've got Drifloon, Yamask, Zora, Finneken, Phantom, Pumpkaboo wearing a spooky festival costume and Noibat. So I think everything there can be sh shiny. Yep. Everything is shiny. Beautiful. And 
Some trainers might even encounter the following. Gengar wearing a tricks or treats costume. So that basically means that Gengar is going to Gengar. He's going to be in the wild. So good luck. Alright. Timid research. A trick or treat themed timid research will be available throughout the event, completing the research tasks to encounter Halloween themed Pokemon such as Zora, Phantom. I think we read that um in part one. Um but yeah, no, I won't be going through everything that's on this blog because uh, if you want to catch part one, um, I, I might just put that linked in the description below of this video. But I will read these bonuses as well. Additional candy for successfully catching Pokemon with nice throws, great throws, and ex excellent throws. Additional candy XL for successfully catching Pokemon with nice throws, great throws, and excellent throws. Costumed Pokemon have a chance to give additional candy with when caught. On October 31st, costumed Pokemon will have a chance to give Rare Candy or Rare Candy XL. Wow. That is so cool. The following Pokemon will be appearing in raids. 1 star raids, you got Ghastly, Mistreavus, Phantom, and in 3 star raids. This is what I'm going to be doing. Oh yeah. Gengar wearing the Tricks and Treats costume. And now, he has just come out. On the 20th he came out, so yesterday, Darkrai has returned. Another dude that I'm going to be raiding my heart out. Because yes, I've got the Hundo. Yes, i got like a 96% shiny. But I want the Shundo. And regardless, he's just a legendary mythical that I just absolutely love. He's um my fifth favorite Pokemon. He's after Zapdos, so like he's my second favorite um, legendary. And I just will raid him constantly. Always, always, always raid him. Mega Raid Mega Bayonet. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and, uh, that's another thing about Dark Light. He is the best Dark type. Like one of the absolute best. Like he is an important Pokemon, so you gotta raid him. Oh uh, yeah, Mega Bayonet, another wicked Pokemon to raid, which I might be doing a little bit of as well. Field research tasks. Oh okay, I think these might be new. Halloween themed field research tasks will be available. So the following Pokemon will be available to encounter when you complete a field research task. Miss Magius, Galarian Yamask, Phantom. Or Galarian Yamask and Phantom can be shiny. And then some trainers might even, even encounter the following. Grignard! Which I love him. He's so, so cool. And uh, yeah, the timid research, yeah, it came out. So this other stuff, we read all about this stuff already. So, I'm going to say that, um... Yeah, go look at part one of my video, or if you're watching this, you know, continue watching this, and then go and watch part one, so you can know all the gist of it, everything else that is going on. But I hope you guys have a trick or treats festival time in part two. Good luck on those shinies, and I'll catch you guys in the next Pokemon Go video. Peace out!